Fear is a universal emotion, one that we all encounter at various points in our lives. It can manifest as a paralyzing dread, that holds us back from pursuing our dreams or as a quiet, persistent anxiety that shadows our daily actions. Regardless of its form, fear often stands as a barrier between us, and the life we wish to lead. Overcoming fear is not just a desirable goal, it is essential for achieving our full potential, and finding inner peace. Understanding and confronting fear is a journey that many have undertaken, and among the wisest guides in this endeavor is Epictetus, an ancient Stoic philosopher. Born a slave in Rome around 55 AD, Epictetus rose above his circumstances to become one of the most influential teachers of Stoicism, a philosophy that emphasizes resilience, self-control, and rational thinking. His teachings have endured for centuries, offering timeless wisdom on how to live a fulfilling life despite the inevitable hardships we face. In this video, we will explore seven practical ways to overcome your fears, inspired by the teachings of Epictetus. Stoicism, at its core, is about cultivating a mindset that enables us to face life's challenges with equanimity and strength. Epictetus' insights are particularly valuable because they are not abstract theories, but actionable principles that we can integrate into our daily lives. By the end of this video, you will have a clearer understanding of how to harness the wisdom of Epictetus to overcome your fears and live a more courageous, fulfilling life. Let's embark on this journey together, learning from the Stoic master how to face our fears head on and emerge stronger. Before we dive in, I would appreciate it if you like this video, so you can help me continue spreading the Stoic philosophy. If you haven't already, consider subscribing, and turning on notifications so you won't miss any new content. Let's begin. Number 1. Understand the Root Cause It is not that things themselves hurt us, but our opinion about them. Understanding the root cause of our fears is the first step towards conquering them. Epictetus, reminds us that true mastery over fear, begins with deep introspection. It is only by uncovering the underlying reasons, behind our fears that we can effectively dismantle their power over us. Fear often lurks in the shadows of our subconscious, manifesting in various forms and disguises. It may stem from past traumas, conditioned beliefs, or a fear of the unknown. By shining a light on these hidden roots, we can begin to unravel the tangled web of our fears, and gain clarity and insight into their origins. One practical tip for identifying the root cause of your fears is to engage in self-reflection. Set aside time each day to sit quietly with your thoughts, allowing them to surface without judgment or suppression. Journaling can be a powerful tool for this process, providing a safe space to explore your emotions and experiences. Another helpful strategy is to examine the patterns and triggers associated with your fears. Notice when and where your fears arise and pay attention to the thoughts and sensations that accompany them. By observing these patterns with curiosity and compassion, you can uncover valuable clues about the underlying causes of your fears. Furthermore, seeking the guidance of a trusted friend, mentor, or therapist can offer fresh perspectives and insights into your fears. Sharing your fears with others can help you gain new insights and perspectives, and they may offer valuable support and encouragement along the way. Once you have identified the root cause of your fears, it is essential to confront them with courage and resilience. Remember that fear is not a sign of weakness but an opportunity for growth and transformation. By facing your fears head-on, you can reclaim your power and freedom, and embark on a journey towards greater self-awareness and fulfillment. Understanding the root cause of fear is a vital step in overcoming it. Through self-reflection, observation, and seeking support, we can uncover the hidden sources of our fears and take meaningful steps towards liberation. As Epictetus reminds us, true freedom lies in understanding and conquering our inner demons. Number 2. Embrace Life's Trials Life is a journey filled with trials and tribulations, each presenting its own unique set of challenges. While it may be tempting to shy away from adversity, embracing life's trials can lead to profound personal growth and resilience. Instead of viewing challenges as obstacles to be avoided, we can learn to see them as opportunities for growth and transformation. Embracing life's trials requires a shift in perspective, a willingness to see beyond the immediate discomfort and uncertainty. Rather than viewing challenges as setbacks, we can choose to see them as stepping stones on the path to self-discovery and empowerment. Just as a seed must endure the darkness of the soil before it can blossom into a flower, so too must we endure the challenges of life to reach our full potential. One of the key benefits of embracing life's trials is the opportunity for personal growth. Adversity has a way of stretching us beyond our comfort zones, forcing us to confront our limitations and discover hidden strengths. Through facing challenges head-on, 
we develop resilience, perseverance, and a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Moreover, challenges can serve as catalysts for positive change, prompting us to reevaluate our priorities and make meaningful adjustments to our lives. For example, losing a job may initially seem like a devastating setback, but it can also be an opportunity to pursue a new career path, or embark on a journey of self-discovery. By embracing the uncertainty of life's trials, we open ourselves up to new possibilities, and experiences that we may never have imagined otherwise. It's important to remember that everyone faces trials and setbacks at some point in their lives. The difference lies in how we choose to respond to them. Instead of succumbing to despair or self-pity, we can choose to embrace life's trials with courage and resilience, knowing that each challenge brings us one step closer to becoming the best version of ourselves. Embracing life's trials is essential for personal growth and resilience. By shifting our perspective and viewing challenges as opportunities for growth, we can transform adversity into a source of strength and empowerment. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. Let us embrace life's trials with open arms, knowing that they are the forge in which our character is shaped and tempered. Number 3. Challenge Negative Thoughts Negative thoughts have a sneaky way of creeping into our minds, casting doubt, and fear on our aspirations and dreams. They can manifest as self-doubt, criticism, or catastrophic thinking, amplifying our fears, and holding us back from reaching our full potential. However, by understanding how negative thoughts contribute to fear, and learning strategies to challenge and reframe them, we can reclaim control over our minds, and overcome our fears. Negative thoughts fuel fear by distorting reality, and magnifying potential threats. When we entertain thoughts of failure, rejection, or inadequacy, our minds instinctively respond with fear, triggering a cascade of physiological and emotional reactions. This negative feedback loop reinforces our fears, making them seem more real and insurmountable than they actually are. To challenge negative thoughts, we must first become aware of them and their underlying patterns. This requires mindfulness and self-reflection, observing our thoughts without judgment, and recognizing when they veer into negativity. Once identified, we can begin to challenge these thoughts by questioning their validity and exploring more balanced perspectives. One effective strategy for challenging negative thoughts is cognitive restructuring, a technique commonly used in cognitive behavioral therapy. This involves identifying the underlying beliefs and assumptions driving our negative thoughts and replacing them with more rational and constructive alternatives. Another helpful strategy is to practice self-compassion and kindness towards ourselves. Negative thoughts often stem from unrealistic expectations, or harsh self-judgment, so offering ourselves the same kindness, and understanding that we would to a friend can help to counteract their influence. Instead of berating ourselves for perceived failures or shortcomings, we can offer ourselves words of encouragement and support, recognizing that we are doing the best we can with the resources and knowledge available to us. Moreover, cultivating a gratitude practice can help to shift our focus away from negativity, and towards appreciation for the present moment. By consciously acknowledging the things we are grateful for, we can reframe our perspective and cultivate a sense of abundance and positivity. This not only helps to counteract negative thoughts but also fosters a mindset of resilience and optimism in the face of adversity. Challenging negative thoughts is essential for overcoming fear and cultivating a mindset of resilience and empowerment. By recognizing the role that negative thoughts play in fueling fear and learning strategies to challenge and reframe them, we can reclaim control over our minds and move forward with confidence and courage. As the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, our life is what our thoughts make it. Let us choose to fill our minds with thoughts of strength, positivity, and possibility, knowing that our thoughts have the power to shape our reality. Number 4. Believe in yourself. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Marcus Aurelius. Believing in oneself is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, emphasizing the importance of inner strength and resilience in the face of adversity. Marcus Aurelius, the renowned Stoic emperor, reminds us that true power lies not in controlling external events but in mastering our own thoughts and attitudes. This profound insight speaks to the importance of self-belief in overcoming fear and navigating life's challenges with courage and confidence. Self-belief is a powerful antidote to fear providing us with a solid foundation upon which to build our resilience and navigate life's uncertainties. When we believe in ourselves, we approach challenges with a sense of calm assurance, knowing that we have the inner resources to overcome whatever obstacles may arise. This self-assurance acts as a shield against fear, 
allowing us to face our fears head on and emerge stronger on the other side. Cultivating self-belief and confidence requires intentional effort and practice. One strategy is to focus on our strengths and past successes, recognizing the times when we have overcome obstacles and achieved our goals. By acknowledging our capabilities and accomplishments, we can boost our self-esteem and reinforce our belief in our ability to handle whatever challenges come our way. Setting realistic goals and breaking them down into manageable steps can help to build momentum and confidence. By taking incremental actions towards our objectives, we demonstrate to ourselves that progress is possible, further reinforcing our self-belief and confidence. Furthermore, surrounding ourselves with supportive and encouraging individuals can provide invaluable validation and affirmation of our worth and capabilities. Seeking out mentors, friends, or peers who believe in us and our potential can help to counteract negative self-talk and bolster our confidence. Another powerful strategy for cultivating self-belief is to practice self-compassion and forgiveness. Recognizing that we are human and bound to make mistakes allows us to approach ourselves with kindness and understanding, rather than harsh self-criticism. By treating ourselves with compassion and forgiveness, we create a supportive internal environment that fosters self-belief and resilience. Believing in oneself is essential for overcoming fear and navigating life's challenges with courage and confidence. Drawing inspiration from the wisdom of Stoic philosophy, we can cultivate self-belief through acknowledging our strengths, setting realistic goals, seeking support from others, and practicing self-compassion. Number 5. Don't fear judgment. Judgment from others can feel like a heavy burden, often dictating our actions and choices out of a desire for acceptance and approval. Yet, fearing judgment limits our freedom and authenticity. The Stoics teach us that the opinions of others are beyond our control and should not dictate our self-worth or decisions. One of the core principles of Stoic philosophy is focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we cannot. This includes the judgments and opinions of others. Fear of judgment often stems from a need for external validation and acceptance. We worry about how others will see us, whether they will approve of our choices or if they will criticize us. However, basing our self-worth on the fluctuating opinions of others leads to a fragile sense of self and constant anxiety. The Stoics remind us that true self-worth comes from within, rooted in our values and actions rather than the approval of others. To overcome the fear of judgment, it's important to first recognize its impact on our lives. Reflect on how often you alter your behavior or decisions based on what you think others will say or think. Understanding this influence is the first step toward reclaiming your autonomy. Next, Practice shifting your focus inward. Cultivate a strong sense of self grounded in your values, beliefs, and goals. When you are confident in your principles and actions, the opinions of others will hold less sway over your sense of self-worth. Regular self-reflection and journaling can help strengthen this internal focus, allowing you to better understand and reaffirm your own values. Another effective strategy is to practice self-acceptance and self-compassion. Embrace your imperfections, and recognize that it's natural to be imperfect and make mistakes. By accepting yourself as you are, you reduce the power that others' judgments have over you. Remember, everyone has their own insecurities and fears, and their judgments often reflect more about them than about you. Finally, remind yourself of the stoic perspective. The judgments of others are external and beyond your control. By focusing on what you can control, your own thoughts, actions, and reactions, you empower yourself to live authentically and fearlessly. Embrace the freedom that comes from letting go of the need for external validation, and find strength in your own convictions. Overcoming the fear of judgment is essential for living a life true to yourself. By grounding yourself in stoic principles, focusing on what you can control, and cultivating self-acceptance, you can free yourself from the burden of others' opinions, and live with greater confidence and authenticity. Number 6. Action is the antidote to fear. Taking action in the face of fear can feel daunting, yet it is one of the most powerful ways to overcome it. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca wisely observed, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Fear thrives in inaction and grows stronger in the fertile ground of our minds, but when we take decisive steps forward, we diminish its power and build resilience. Fear often paralyzes us, creating a vicious cycle where the longer we avoid taking action, the more intimidating the feared outcome becomes. Action disrupts this cycle, shifting our focus from our anxieties to the tasks at hand. By engaging directly with what we fear, we confront our imagined catastrophes with reality, which is often far less frightening than our minds suggest. Taking action begins with small, manageable steps. Rather than aiming for perfection or dramatic change, 
Focus on incremental progress. If public speaking terrifies you, start by speaking up in smaller, less intimidating settings. Practice your speech in front of a mirror or with a trusted friend. Each small step you take helps to build confidence and reduce the overall sense of fear. Another practical step is to break down larger goals into smaller, actionable tasks. When faced with a daunting project, the sheer scale can induce fear and procrastination. By dividing it into smaller tasks, each with its own deadline, you can make steady progress and reduce the overwhelming nature of the task. It is also helpful to reframe your mindset about fear. Instead of viewing fear as a sign of weakness or an insurmountable obstacle, see it as a guide pointing you towards areas where growth is possible. Embracing this mindset can transform fear from a paralyzing force into a motivator for action and self-improvement. Visualization is another effective technique. Imagine yourself successfully completing the task you fear. Visualizing positive outcomes can boost your confidence and reduce anxiety, making it easier to take the first step. Combine this with deep breathing exercises to calm your mind and body, creating a state of readiness for action. Accountability can also play a crucial role in overcoming fear. Share your goals and fears with a trusted friend or mentor who can provide encouragement and hold you accountable. Knowing that someone else is supporting your journey can provide the extra push needed to take action. Lastly, reflect on past experiences where you successfully overcame fear. Remind yourself of the courage and resilience you demonstrated in those situations. This reflection can serve as a powerful reminder of your capability to face and conquer new fears. Taking action is a potent antidote to fear. By breaking down tasks, reframing your mindset, visualizing success, and seeking accountability, you can confront your fears head on and diminish their hold over you. Number 7. Remember, death is inevitable. Death is a certainty that all of us will face, yet it remains one of the most profound sources of fear. In our daily lives, we often avoid thinking about death, preferring to push it to the distant corners of our minds. However, the Stoics teach us that contemplating the inevitability of death can significantly diminish our fears and inspire us to live more fully. The Stoic perspective on death is rooted in acceptance and the understanding that it is a natural part of life. As Marcus Aurelius wrote, it is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. The Stoics believe that by acknowledging and reflecting on the inevitability of death, we can liberate ourselves from the fear that often dictates our choices and actions. Contemplating death, a practice known as memento mori, remember that you will die, serves as a powerful tool for putting our fears into perspective. When we accept that our time is limited, the trivial fears and anxieties that occupy our minds lose their grip. This awareness can motivate us to prioritize what truly matters, pursue our passions, and live authentically without being paralyzed by fear. One practical way to incorporate this stoic teaching into your life is through regular reflection. Set aside time each day to contemplate your mortality. This doesn't mean dwelling on death in a morbid sense, but rather reminding yourself of life's impermanence. Ask yourself, if today were my last day, would I be content with how I lived it? This question can help you refocus on your values and aspirations, guiding you to make decisions that align with your true self. Another approach is to use this awareness as a catalyst for action. Understanding that life is finite encourages us to seize opportunities and face challenges with courage. When confronted with fear, remind yourself that time is precious and that avoiding action out of fear means missing out on life's experiences and potential growth. Embracing the inevitability of death is a fundamental stoic practice that can help us overcome fear. By contemplating our mortality, we gain a clearer perspective on our fears and are motivated to live more fully and authentically. Overcoming fear is a journey that requires courage, self-reflection, and action. By applying these stoic principles, you can transform fear into a source of strength. I encourage you to incorporate these teachings into your daily life and observe the changes they bring. Please share your experiences with fear and how you overcome it in the comments below. Your stories can inspire and support others on their journey. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more content on stoicism and personal development. Together, we can build a community dedicated to growth, resilience, and inner peace. Thank you for watching.